So this video, I will not go too deep, but this is just to stimulate you to wholesome thinking. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. What was this light? Take note that the sun and the moon, which was only at verse 16, the fourth day was created. So what was this light at the first day? Now, I believe that the, this light is Jesus Christ. In the beginning was the word, and Jesus Christ was the light. John the Baptist came to witness to the light. Elsewhere it is written, John the Baptist said, this is the one I meant when I said, a man, which is pointing to Jesus, Jesus comes after me and has surpassed me, John the Baptist, because Jesus, he was before me, John the Baptist. But we all know that John the Baptist was born first, then Jesus. In fact, he was born some three to six months before Jesus Christ came to this earth. But why was Jesus Christ greater than John the Baptist, even though John the Baptist came in the flesh first than Jesus? Because Jesus Christ was the light at the very beginning, the very first day, the light. He existed before me, even though I was born first than him. <clears throat> and he separated the light from the darkness. Now, this is the thing. God is the father of all things that he created. He did not only create blessings and goodness, he also created evil and wickedness and darkness. So God is the God of compassion and the God of wrath. He executes his judgment on the people of Israel, on Pharaoh and the Egyptians and all that. And God said, let there be a vault between the waters to separate water from water. What is this water? Uh, okay, so let us turn to Ephesians chapter 5. Water means the word of God. Water means the word. Cleanse you by the washing with water through the word. So then at the so then after all these things was created, the spirit which determines the goodness and the wickedness is separated then. And then afterwards he separated the words, the principalities, the word governing the waters so he made the vault and separated the water under the vault from the water above it and god said let the water under the sky be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear let the water under the sky be gathered to one place hmm. so now we can see that the water was separated at first the whole water was one but god's spirit already know what is good and what is bad but the whole tank is just one but now, God separated this tank to two parts. One on top and one below. Okay, and in between, there's a chasm. Just like Jesus Christ at the Lazarus and the rich man parable. Abraham said, No, I cannot send Lazarus to you to cool your tongue because in between us, there is a great chasm. No one can go to each other. This one was found at Luke chapter 16, verse 26. So if we have time, we can go and read it. A great chasm has been set in place. No one can cross over from there to us. So the waters that is above is what is of God's goodness, the blessings, those who, the word of God. And the waters below, you know, Satan is also created by God, right? Satan did not just appear out of nowhere and say, let me oppose God. No, God created Satan. Okay, God created everything. So the waters below is Satan and his principalities and his uh, angels. Now here comes the key verse. Let the water under the sky, under the great chasm, be gathered to one place and let dry ground appear. And the waters that is above the sky was not gathered to one place because they are free to roam about. They are of God. The waters that is below the sky, they are gathered to one place because they are the principalities that opposes God. They are forced to gather at one place. Not, in a sense, they are not freely to roam about. They cannot go up. They are trapped. They are forced to gather. Now take note. From verse 10 to verse 13, the earth was created. So then, the lights in the vault of the sky now refers to the earth's vault in the sky. 
much like what we are seeing now on the skies today, to separate the day from the night. God made two great lights, the greater light to govern the day and the lesser light to govern the night. This means the spiritual principalities at work. You know, Moses created his tabernacle in the book of Hebrews. It says that it was a copy. It was an imitation of what is happening in the tabernacle of heaven. So what is on the earth is an imitation, a copy of what is happening in heaven. The greater light to govern the day, a principality, a spiritual power. A lesser light to govern the night, a spirituality, a power of principality. Because what is seen was made out of what is unseen. So to know what is seen, you must look at what is unseen first to understand the things that are seen. Because out of invisible things, the visible was made. So to know what is visible, you have to see what is invisible first. Also the living creatures according to their kinds, the wild animals and the beasts of the field. This one, God created it to tend the earth, to work the earth, to maintain the earth. Just like how we are first created to tend and work to maintain the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. Now, in this verse, some people interpret it as God the father and God the mother. God has a wife. Uh, I say that is absolutely nonsense. It is because they cannot see what is unseen. They can only see what is seen. So they interpret it based on their senses. But if you can see what is unseen, you will realize that uh, physical image has nothing to do with what is of God. Rather, as Galatians says, there is neither male or female in Christ Jesus. God gave us this command. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the seas, the birds in the skies, and every living creature that moves on the ground. Do not take note that God did not tell us to rule over the two great lights that governs the earth. Because these are spiritual principalities and powers of the earth. God has created a system, okay, a program that we cannot move beyond it. A light to govern the earth in the day and uh, another light to govern the earth in the night. So let us turn back to these waters. Now, this is what Revelation says. The waters that you saw where the unclean, the prostitutes sit, those who oppose God, these means are the peoples, the multitudes, the nations and the languages. Satanic beings that opposes God. They represent the waters that you saw. And the beast coming out of the sea. So if you people think that the beast must come out of the Pacific Ocean or the Indian Ocean, physically coming out, you are deceived. It's something that you cannot see. It talks of the spiritual waters that God has created since the foundations of the earth. And God has appointed a time and now it has been revealed in the book of Revelation. So what else do you think that the beast would be? The Holy Spirit is something of God and you cannot see the Holy Spirit. But you know that he lives in you and will be with you. If something that is of God is with you and lives in you and you know it, but you cannot see, what do you think of the demons, the spirits? Even when Jesus casts out the spirits, it is man to man. We can only see like this. But if you are of God, you can see what is happening in a spiritual realm, how the demon is living. So then, if the Holy Spirit is something that you cannot see, but you know that it lives in you, the false prophets, the beast, the Antichrist, uh, is something that it lives in them. You cannot see the 666 physically. Uh, 666 is something that the Satan mark you in your own spirit. So, well, I will leave it for you. Because if I go deeper, it will be not profitable for you already. Because Bible is something that you must obtain the spirit behind the words. You have to have the personal communication, the personal direction from God. Okay, Trust your Bible more than you trust your pastor. If you trust your Bible more than you trust your pastor, you will succeed.
you obtain what Jesus Christ is ready to give you. Which is greater, the pastor or the Bible that makes the pastor sacred? Which is greater, the gift at the altar or the altar that makes the gift sacred? Hmm? The Bible that makes the pastor sacred is greater. Spend your time to read it. If you give God your time, God will give you his time. And if you give God your best time, God will give you his best time. What people take one generation to achieve, you can only just take two years. People in their lifetime, they can only hear the voice of God one time, two times. But if you do what is prescribed, if you trust the Bible and the Holy Spirit more than anything, I tell you, people can only hear the voice of God two times in their entire lifetime. But Jew, every day, two times. Okay. This is why God is able to use John the Baptist at the age of 20 plus to be the Elijah to come. This is why God can use Jesus Christ at the age of 30 to save the entire world, which is even now in its effect in saving the world. 